That old stand by the shirt is gaining new status. The basic white button down that complements a serious suit is a thing of the past. Today it has a personality all of its own. At the spring summer New York menswear collections, it was totally revamped. It had new textures, sexier shapes, and a collage of vibrant colors, patterns, and prints. New York's Donna Karen says while it may never replace the basic tee, it's become a serious rival. I don't think the t-shirt will ever be replaced, but I think we haven't focused on the shirt in such a long time. You know, it's always been about the t-shirt and the sweater. Mark Jacobs does shirts that get their pizzazz from prints. A lot of striped shirts. I mean, I think that was one of the things that I was most excited about this season is a lot of shirts, because I'm always in t-shirts. But, um, yeah, I like shirts, like with collars this season a lot, too. And tie? Um, no, no ties. Not a single tie this time. Um, and there's a, a small print, a little tie print, which is actually a little tie print shirt. Gene Meyer says that it's details and finishes that make his shirts snappy. There are a lot of shirts, actually. I think it's a strong season for shirts. Um, we have shirts that have uh, folded pockets, uh, by level also on the sleeves, folded pockets, um, stretch poplins, glazed cottons, lacquered cottons. Cynthia Rowley tells me when it comes to color and prints, men find it easier to experiment with shirts. I think in general, a guy will take a chance on a print shirt before um, he'll do a print bottom. You know, like what's more familiar, what's more comfortable than just a great, you know, a great shirt. And to be able to do it in all, all these prints, we have them in, in printed cotton, we have them embroidered, we have them with little nail heads on them, we have them with, um, in knit, in printed knit, in stripes, like all these different things. It's really a fun thing to experiment with and it's something that I think men feel comfortable with. Everett Hall says it's the natural fibers he uses that give his shirts their signature look. I use the best cottons, uh, Sea Island cottons. I use nice twills in there, or even some have uh, uh, diagonal twills and, and different uneven herring bones and different textures to it. And then some are a little flat. Uh, we're doing some flat black things, and, and even other blacks that we're doing are silk charmeuse shirts with uh, decorative buttons and things like that. Perry Ellis designer Jerry Kay goes to different lengths to make his shirt stand out. We've always had a great um, collection of shirtings and we really are looking at it in many different ways, whether they be sleeveless, short sleeve, um, long sleeve, three quarter sleeve. We're showing all different varieties to give men different options. Jason Bunin says spring summer is the season to dress down and the shirt is a simple way to do that, particularly if it's a standout. We did one in a, um, we call it an air bubble, uh, bubble wrap cotton. And it's um, a print that caught with an acid resist that actually causes it to pucker up. I think you know, a shirt really finishes off the look if it's done in a, in a good way. That's the revamping of men's shirts. There's more to 